Hey there, folks. It may be only the preseason, but it appears Caitlin Clark's going to be just fine in the WNBA. She's shutting down the doubters, and she's crushing it in her debut with the Indiana Fever. The WNBA's top draft pick made her highly anticipated debut with the Indiana Fever on Friday night as they kicked off their preseason debut with the Dallas Wings in front of a packed arena of over 6,500 fans. Tickets were in high demand, selling for top dollar. Clark wasted no time making her mark, coming out firing with an impressive 16 points in the first half out of her total 21 for the game. Her debut shot with the WNA was no surprise to anyone, a three-pointer that set the tone for her stellar performance. At moments, she seemed to channel the spirit of Steph Curry, easily seeking deep shots from well beyond the arc, showcasing her remarkable range and skill on the court. Her dribbling was on par too. Just watch as she appears to break the ankles of this wings defender with her slick moves. Despite Clark's impressive 21 points, the Fever fell short against the Wings, with her last second off-balance shot hitting the side of the backboard, resulting in a 79-76 loss for Indiana. Reflecting on her debut, Clark remarked, It was a great start overall, my first experience. It was definitely what I expected. She emphasized the importance of the game, a learning experience for the team, resulting in a need for cohesion and teamwork moving forward. Adding to the intrigue, Cheryl Swoops, who faced criticism for her remarks about Clark on the Gilbert Arenas podcast. Just for Caitlin, but you asked me about Caitlin. If you're going to break a record, to me, if it's legitimate, you have to break that record in the same amount of time that that player set it. Okay. In, right? So if, if Kelsey Plum set that record in four years, mm -hmm. well, Caitlin should have broke that record in four years. But because there's a COVID year and then there's another year, you know what I mean? So she's already had an extra year to break that record. So is it truly a broken record? That, uh... So, 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 so to, to answer that question, Caitlin Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. <laughs> so will Caitlin Clark be a good pro? Absolutely. Will Caitlin Clark come into the WNBA and do what she's doing right now? Immediately? Absolutely not. Not gonna happen. Was the one to interview her after the WNBA preseason game? Yeah, I thought we, I thought we played really hard. Um, just a great atmosphere for women's basketball. I think it's a, a good kickoff to the WNBA season. I think the way we played, you know, there's some things we could have executed a little better. I thought we could have got into our offense a little bit better. The pace was amazing. Um, that's fun basketball. People like to watch, but um, overall, definitely what I expected. It was a funny moment, full of irony. For more on the Cheryl Swoops, Caitlin Clark escapade, be sure to check out our video linked in the description below. Doug Gottlieb, a former college basketball player turned analyst and sports talk radio host, has been quick to point out what he perceives as a mechanical flaw in Clark's shooting ability and suggests maybe she should be advised to fix it. Here's Doug's take on X. The amount of work it takes to be consistent through her mechanical flaw is really impressive. If you were advising her, would you fix it in the off season? The replies on X were hilarious, with Eric Lilly pointing out, reminder to everyone on this app that Doug Gottlieb shot 45.7% from the free throw line in college with over 300 attempts. Can we say ouch? This didn't stop Gottlieb from doubling down on his take, saying, except she is not. She's a great player, scorer, but 37.8% from the three-point line is not elite. Better comp, better scouting, bigger defenders, more space, it'll be interesting. After the first preseason game, it looks like she's doing all right, Doug. 37.8% from three given her volume, I think the Indiana Fear will gladly take those numbers. Let's hear your thoughts on Clark's professional debut and Doug Gottlieb's suggestion of her mechanical flaw in the comments below. And don't forget to explore more sports insights in our latest and most popular videos.